Acurex Pharmaceuticals is a publicly held clinical stage biotechnology company developing a new class of antibiotics for infections caused by bacteria listed as priority pathogens by the World Health Organization and others with me is CEO David Lucci. Um, what a day that the stock had uh, this week. Indeed. Tell me about that and what was the news behind that increase? Well, last week, uh, it was indeed a great day, our, our biggest day of volume uh, since our IPO in June 21. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I think investors who saw our news last week that we had early terminated our phase 2B clinical trial due to success are finally appreciating, uh, after a few trading sessions, uh, the significance of that, um, because we expect to show data uh, with clear separation from the standard of care treating C. difficile infection. Uh, clear, clear uh, separation for efficacy, safety, the microbiome advantage, and all of that data uh, by the end of the year uh, will come out publicly uh, in, in a press release, a series of releases, two releases starting with top line data by the end of the month. Oh, interesting. The stock was up 73%, so it's yes. a huge gain. And um, we've talked before about how there's really no, the, the treatments that are being used for this are like, you know, decades old. So this is the first new thing on the market in a while, or will be. Exactly right. In the standard of care oral vancomycin, it was first approved in 1958 for a different bacterial infection. It's broad spectrum. In 86, they got it approved to treat C. diff even though it's broad spectrum and would therefore decimate the microbiome, in my view, they, they didn't have much antibiotics to use to treat C. diff. So they figured if, they, if a patient has a life-threatening infection and has to deal with side effects, that's better than having nothing at all. Yeah. What have been some of the questions that stakeholders have been asking since this clinical data was released? So uh, since our release, uh, there's a couple of things that folks have asked. Uh, the first is, uh, you know, did we inform or communicate with the FDA mm -hmm. in advance of uh, the early discontinuation? And of course we did. Um, we were in contact with the FDA. They were very cooperative, responded immediately. And there's, you know, it's just a great relationship. It'll, it'll uh, continue to be great in phase three, we expect. Um, the second thing um, that folks have been asking um, uh, I forget the, <laughs> oh, the, the Independent Data Monitoring Committee, whether or not they're on board, and of course they're on board. They've been a meeting, they've give, been giving us advice, and they're completely on board with management strategy. Yeah. Um, so the top line data will be out in about 30 days? Within 30 days, I say October, th the end of the month-ish. Okay. And the full data, when do you expect that? Uh, I expect that the full data package will be out in December. So that full data package will show clear separation with vancomycin with the efficacy, the safety, and the microbiome. And then what are the next steps once that full data comes out? Uh, well, in December, we plan to file with the FDA um, for a, what's called a post-phase two meeting. We'll have a face-to-face -face meeting with the FDA um, in the Washington area, uh, probably in February or possibly March. Yeah. And at that point in time, we are officially, quote unquote, phase three ready. Okay. So when might this be available? Like best case scenario? Uh, best case scenario, if, uh, if our uh, uh, trial design for phase three, international trials, uh, over 100 sites, um, high enrolling sites uh, in Eastern Europe, Canada, and South America, if, if all of that's agreeable with the FDA, mm. Uh, we could be on the market uh, by the end of 2026. Okay. Very interesting, a huge milestone for the yes, company. Congratulations, indeed. David. Thank you, Jane. Thanks. So we've been through uh, good times and bad times at Acurex, but I bet a pulse that our science always pulls us through. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you.